Thank you to Natural Products Canada for pointing us into the direction of this wonderful brand that will be in Incubator Alley at the Canadian Health Food Association show in Vancouver. I'm doing great. How are you? How are you guys doing? We are. We're doing well. We're doing well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So we got one of so Phil, you're in Toronto, and Kenny, I'm, you're in Vancouver. Yeah, I'm an East fan. You're an East fan. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, and where where are you, Adam? Actually, right now I'm in uh, Nicaragua. Oh, nice. Yeah. We should have we yeah. should have done this live. We should have done it. Yeah, yeah. We, you guys, you guys should have come down here. Well, you time. sent oh. a, a note five minutes ago about video. Well, you didn't say that we should have been in Nicaragua. You got to yeah. use a little yeah. warning, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, sorry about sure. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next time, you know, next first time, time fine. Okay. Second time, <laughs> thank you to fly. Okay, so, sounds good. Yeah, we'll we'll plan a, a live one down uh, down here wow. for next year. What the hell? That, that sounds great. Jeez. <laughs> A little yeah. disrespectful. I'm going to just say, you know, it's, that's, that's the, I mean, the, the whole interview here. Well, I think this interview's over. Damn it. Yeah, I'm, not really, I'm not really, I don't really care about these sauces. I'm not, I'm not interested in this. <laughs> oh, we love it. We love it. Oh. What are you doing down in Nicaragua? Yeah. Oh, we're uh, scouting, you know, new flavors, international flavors, bringing this. You. No, no, that's, I mean, partly. Partly what we're doing, but uh, actually my brother lives down here. So I come down here um, every year when things are a little bit slow for us. Well, I mean, no, things are never really that slow. But, I know you're saying, um, but you get a little bit of a breather. Oh, no, a little need, bit of a breather. Need... Yeah, exactly. Right. And I've got, I have a nine-year-old son and he's got cousins down here. So we get some good one-on-one yeah. -on -one time. Because during, when I'm in Canada these days, I'm, I spend a lot of time on the road and away from my son. So it's nice to have this kind of pocket of uh yeah like father son time exactly yeah, that's awesome yeah and plus you do get flavor so remember that this is a trip that can be is a business trip absolutely and we yeah, always yeah. May play into it but we are looking for flavors uh, we're all always looking for flavors exactly, exactly. yeah but yes. i, so I think it, as an industry we are highly apologetic about taking vacation and and we shouldn't be like look yeah. at it like Why? we have this exactly. we have this fucking creative you know really innovative industry and all of that comes because your brain's firing not because you're slogging it through deductions or spread like spreadsheets at the yin yang you know what i mean it's like day-to-day -day bullshit has to get put aside sometimes you know what you have to walk around a beach or a town absolutely it fires you it's so true and i find myself often like when i'm doing those like 14 hour days and i'm and then doing that like back to back and for a while i'm like what am i i'm forgetting to tap into like the bigger vision and the creativity that is what really you know motivates and inspires us exactly. i spent actually the other day i spent uh i was like because yeah i actually even down here I often i'm like feeling guilty you know if i'm just completely tapping into being present with uh what's happening here yeah. um but the other day i i was like okay i'm gonna sit in the hammock and i'm gonna lay in the hammock and drink a coffee for uh like a long time so i sat for two hours in the hammock and just thought about the business like the five-year business plan and yeah. and the vision and where we want to take it and after i did that i felt like my whole body kind of like release and and uh de-stress and have confidence that we're going to be able to take the business where we want to over the next five years right because rather than being constantly stuck in that day-to-day -day and kind of um yeah, always feeling like there's more yeah. that I should be doing today. Well, exactly. And forgetting yeah. to like, like, tr you know, have yeah. faith in that five year vision. Right. So it's, it was a very productive two hours sitting in the hammock and overlooking the Pacific. And <laughs> well, I think we discount that too much because what's that? A hamster wheel, you know, that one exactly. With, Chase that bullshit where you just don't get tail. off. That's not good for you. Like, you need no time. And even if you sat two hours, yeah. drank coffee, and thought of nothing, which men can do very, very easily, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that either. <laughs> like two Absolutely. hours of just what did you think about i don't yeah. remember that's, I don't, that's okay too clearing my mind right oh, yeah absolutely it's so it's so key because during you know during christmas season the, the kind of three months during christmas season we are so we did like you know 85 days of markets in november and december yeah. and uh you know it's just Crazy go enough. go go and so yeah it's so important to like actually here i have my brother uh, 
as it happens, has a yoga center. So I've been able to yeah do lots of lots of yoga and time on the beach and yeah. It's so and I feel it's like wow. It's like every day that I that I take that time, I feel like that energy and inspiration, like you know, filling up and like that's good. Getting so excited to get back to Canada and yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Get back to the grind. I get back it. to the get back to the inspiration. Yeah. Speaking that's of work, okay. that's okay let's, though. Let's, let's, good. let's transition into this so we can we can talk about slow bottled Sunday, and um, if you're tuning in, we got we got Adam Harris on. Um, he's going to tell us about Slow Bottle Tuesday, and he's part of um, okay. uh, Natural Products Canada and and like Innovation Alley, right? So, um, and so we're kind of like we're super excited to have him on, um, even for Nicaragua. Um, where we are not. Um, and this, but, Adam, uh, this is a quick one. This is not all. This is just like a 15 yeah. minute here. Get people excited. Get them down the alley, um, so they can see all you cool new products. Perfect. Um, yeah. You great. know, and hopefully they'll have a reason, and hopefully you yep. can incite yeah. why they should come see you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so tell us about this thing. Tell us about slow bottled Sunday and this thing, and and what what we what we should expect to. Kind of think about when we get to the show oh well yeah so i mean there's there's the a uh, couple things one is that um uh as far as our products go obviously sauces and condiments are a pretty a pretty saturated market and we knew that going into it and so the first thing that i did actually when my business partner and i came together and started talking about this um was i went into grocery stores and spent uh, countless hours looking at ingredient lists and and I mean I was already a, a pretty passionate ingredient reader to begin with but when I, I read like hundreds and hundreds of ingredients and discovered that there are hundreds and hundreds of products at a typical grocery store whose top four ingredients are sugar water vinegar and tomato paste mm -hmm. um you can find like literally you go That's to actually most store most it, well, so you can go to a grocery store and find hundreds and hundreds of SKUs with those yes. four top ingredients yes. before you'll find a single product that yes. has a whole a whole food as the first ingredient and and also before you'll find a single product that has anything grown in bc as a as a top or base ingredient right so so i was like okay well this you know all of this talk about buy local this and support local supply chains and you go into these entire aisles in grocery stores that have, you know, shop local all over the grocery store advertised and you don't find anything local and you don't find anything made with real food other than tomato paste. So the, the so we kind of we're thinking about the problem that we're solving and we really think of um, us not so much solving a problem within uh, a specific category as creating an entirely new category. Uh, of itself, which is whole food condiments. And um, and so each of our products, the, the first ingredient, the base ingredient is dominated by a fresh whole produce that we actually source ourselves from, from local farms. And so we also, another thing that both my business partner and I are, are kind of, you know, frustrated or not frustrated, but just um, feel is saturated in the market is a lot of, uh, a lot of, value propositions that come kind of after the fact so or or that don't tie into the aren't integral to the product um so for for instance you know you pick up an organic barbecue sauce and you look in the ingredient list and it's filled with all sorts of junk and sugar and all of these non-food ingredients and there's a huge uh consumer segment that is really like you know they're looking past the value propositions that might be on the front and instead turn to the ingredients and the first thing they want to see is what are the ingredients of this and so the first ingredient of our products tells consumers three distinct ways that our products differentiate differentiate themselves uh, by so the first ingredient of our top selling products are rescued bc cherries or rescued bc peaches so it tells consumers that a it's made with a whole food um, it, B, it's made through a, a, um, a transparent supply chain because that's another thing. Nobody knows where their right. ingredients are coming from with these kind of products, yeah. right? So BC, wow. And not only that, that goes deeper, which is that we actually go ourselves with our trucks and bins to source that first ingredient from local farms. We have a relationship with those farmers. 
and then and then it's part of a a mission that is greater than the product rescued fruit right so you don't have to you don't have to use your intellect to try to understand what you know how is this sustainable how is this different it's it's right on the in the first ingredient made with rescued fruit and we've now i mean we we launched in 2021 and we were now up to about 90,000 pounds of fresh bc fruit that we've uh, saved from going to waste you. wow and it's it's wow yeah so are you driving up into the okanagan or into the fraser valley and just yeah you know, wherever you're going and just so my up? business my business partner he uh so he started making our first product as a kid with his mom on salt spring island and his entire life he okay, had that this, makes total sense <laughs> he had this uh idea in his heart right but he had a career as a machine operator and then and then finally um he decided you know what i'm gonna move my family to the Okanagan and and uh, build a commercial kitchen in the heart of the of orchard country. So, oh, very cool. so our so our facility is in Headley near Carrier. Yeah, cool. yeah. Very very cool. Wow. Very very cool. Right. I love the I love yeah. the uh, yeah I love the rescue part more than anything. We've had a few people on the show because um, we have obviously people in the Okanagan that um, we love to share this stuff, right? Because we know, we know how much food waste we have, one. Mm -hmm. And most of this food's not going to find its way to stores because it's not going to be massively attractive or whatever. And yet, it's, you know, it's all good in the hood. Like, it's great stuff. It should be in bottles. Mm -hmm. um, I have, wow, I didn't realize this was... Um, this That's great. I, I actually, and I like, yeah. um, you know, if you if you get a chance to... Go to the website. I'm actually bottled. doing that now too, Phil, because I was yeah. now, yeah. Because Slow Bottled Sunday, like, so on the bottom of, of each of um, their bottles, they they actually tell you, you know, what it, you know, the leading ingredient, as you were saying, right? So, like, it says BC peaches, BC cherries, BC plums, BC cherries, you know, on, on each of these. Um, peach habanero hot sauce. That's I know. You know what's funny? That's the one I'm on. Impression. It's amazing. That's, the you are, well, that's the one I went to. Uh, and, you're not even, and you're you're priced um you're priced reasonably. You're not the cheapest thing on the planet, but you're not outrageous. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, for what it is and, and the quality mm -hmm. of ingredient, I would say this is uh yeah. yeah. Pretty reasonable. So are you in um so because just two things. First off, I think there's a podcast in this. So yeah. I think mm -hmm. you and your partner, if you guys want to come on and do an hour show, I would love that because I, we, we yeah. need to do like the upcycling and the recycling and the reusing and the, and the rescuing, all that is very, very cool and relevant. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and the second thing is, so, you know, what, the purpose of this is it, retailers listen to us, brands listen to us. So give me, you know, it's, it, it, it's the compelling reason to come down your aisle. I think people should come and see you. I think people should talk to you. Mm -hmm. and see if they can do this so what kind of retailers are you looking for who are you what kind of consumers are you looking for like where do you fit really well so if georgia Maine's listening to this and joyce is going to walk down the aisle yeah this, well this. actually we're yeah we're listed with uh georgia Maine. we've been uh where we will be in we're working in getting to fresh street market and several igas uh this year uh, we're in that process but um and we're listed with save on foods in their local program Perfect. but as far as good fit, fit so so fresh things like fresh street market yep. that's a good fit um and then um like and then we're in stong's market as well Perfect. and palm uh palm natural market nature's fair uh we're yeah we're not in nature's fair but i think nature's fair would be a uh fantastic come on guys open oh, sorry, on. sorry 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 nature's fair we are in i was thinking urban fair we are uh listed we are in all of our uh, nature well, we sure got a crack at too so we'll talk about that later very uh, cool yeah but but um especially um any sort of specialty retailers where yeah. where you have the type of consumers that are maybe spending a little bit of extra time to look at the kind of products that uh, are available there um those are the kind of yeah those are the kind of right. retailers that go really well and so we're really like we're 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 um going to be at the calgary stampede this year and so we are we would love to work with some calgary retailers and uh, along those lines uh, and alberta alberta retailers but yeah so so any 
store that ha- attracts those kind of customers that are looking for something a little bit different or a little bit right. thoughtful and especially foodies like we we um yeah food people who, who really appreciate food absolutely go bananas for our for our products and we've had so many like reactions from customers who who are like can't believe the the wholesomeness and the ingredients yeah. the combination of the healthy ingredients with the mission with the very fresh and kind of different kind of uh flavor combinations right so fruities just love that right they love seeing that these aren't just flavor combinations that are relying on on you know non-food ingredients or flavor combinations that are really relying on on their food to to do the talking yeah it sounds like if you're looking if you're a retailer looking for good better best right like this is yeah, the this best. is definitely going to be getting to the, the best items sure. so. exactly like there's really nothing yeah like yeah as far as this category goes and we've got uh we've got two more very exciting products that we uh will be will be showing at the that's it uh, oh yeah at the HFA, that'll be our awesome. we have two products one is a is is um uh, an extraordinarily versatile and popular product that that sells like hotcakes at grocery stores but typically has has terrible ingredients is is usually the top two ingredients are sugar and water okay and but it sells like it sells like crazy to a very wide spectrum of of shoppers and consumers and is is um yeah so we'll be announcing that at chf chfa yeah okay so Very you guys, cool. you guys better go. You got to go to the show to find out what's going on there, and then. Come and see if you're it. in areas like they have just decent distribution yeah. through the Okanagan and the island and Metro Vancouver, yeah. so if you are already retailers looking at this, pop into your competitive retail yeah. spaces and see what's going on. And uh, yeah. I don't think you should miss this. You guys got decent distribution. Are you just selling but to yourselves, or or like if a retailer does listen to this before, um, is there a distributor they could call, or who are they calling if they want to do? Yeah, so, so if in the Okanagan, they can call heart marketing and sales yep. and they do our distribution there and then if they're in the lower mainland or victoria we do distribution self distribution in those areas yep. and if they're uh like we have a we have a store in saskatchewan we just send them we just uh ship the product to them we also have an online retailer in ontario cool. and um so we again yeah ship ship them um prince george like if yeah any any retailers in prince george i just had an email this morning opened up from a customer in prince george asking if we have any retailers there and uh which we don't so uh, we did a show in november in prince george so we have a good following there so any awesome. retailers in, in prince george would be would be great okay okay awesome well, that's um, great I mean, seriously, Adam, that's very cool and then we will book a podcast too yeah let's do that sounds yeah. sounds wonderful yeah, yeah. um like yeah. us yeah, you guys. Yeah. Is there so anything else? People want to find you, it's slow bottled with a D, Sunday.com. If they want to reach you, if they want some questions, how do they get a hold of you? Would they go through the webpage, LinkedIn? Yeah, so they can just email me directly at yep. adam at slow bottled Sunday.com. Awesome. Okay. That's the best way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, that's it. Uh, this is the quick one, but, but, um, You've got us interested. We'll we'll definitely come by and say hello at we'll the, see show. the show for sure. Yeah. Awesome guys. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your time, and I look I yeah. look forward to meeting you in person. And yeah, likewise. And yeah, I look forward to chatting. We'll have we'll have samples of all of our products, including we'll our there. two new products. We'll have uh, samples oh. of those. So very cool. Um, we look forward to meeting everyone. Yeah, awesome. awesome. All right, thanks all right. so much. Yeah. Go enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, safe yeah. travels. 